Hello, friends. Hi. It's me. <laughs> Hello. Now, if my stream goes down at any point, just I just want you to all to know that I will I will be in a fetal position crying my eyes my eyes out. I'm just saying. And all hope will be lost. At least for me. At least for me. Okay? I've tried every setting. <laughs> I've tried every setting. And I just wanna... I just wanna... I just wanna stream. That's all I want. You know? Um, I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking for much, okay? I just... I just wanna... Stream... And play the game... And live my life. And that's it. I don't ask for much, okay? I haven't... I don't. I don't ask for much. This is... This is me playing for help. And if there is... If there is a god somewhere... You know... I hope you're listening, bro. <laughs> I hope you're listening. Because I am a simple man. I am a simple man. Who just wants to... Play... Old... Video games... And stream them online so others can hang out and chill, and that's it. Okay. I I don't I don't ask for anything else. All right, let's do this. Hey guys, how's it going? Are you ready to play some PSO? Man! Are you guys ready to play the new event? Happy 20th anniversary, y'all! Yes! Yes! That's awesome! Alright. What's going on? All right, we got the GameCube remote. Okay. We got the keyboard. Am I live? Am I live? Okay, cool. I'm live. All right. Who <laughs> up my toes? Oh no, you guys saw my feet? My disgusting Fred Flintstone feet. Oh god. Scream for a few seconds, hey. You know, when, if you sub, you, you can get exclusive pictures of my feet. Cause you all broke the <laughs> terms of service. I was not expecting that. Okay. 
<laughs> no. No! No, please! No, no. No. I, I'm joking. No. No. No, damn it. No. Please. Gotta pay up. No, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Put content, please. Oh, no. What have I done? I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, God. What have I done? Damn it, dude. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Man, maybe these <laughs> corporate VTubers are onto something after all. <laughs> all right. I did see us. What's up? No, it's all right, man. We're just joking around. <laughs> We're just joking around. It's all good. I mean, if getting subs is as easy as <laughs> promising feet, then maybe I need to consider some career choices. Oh, no. For legal and moral reasons, this is a joke. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow, we're finally online. Okay, yesterday I had a weird thing happen. Ah, oh, the language of love, yes. Um, I had a weird memory card thing happen to me yesterday, and it was kind of scary. But, uh, I think it was just not inserted properly. I don't know, it was really weird. Um, I also had another memory card inside the Wii at the time. So, maybe it, like, got mixed up in trying to find the file? I don't know, but... It was, um... I hope it doesn't happen again. Um, so, obviously, there's a 20th anniversary this month for Shitak. Um, so happy 20th anniversary for the server. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm just fixing music. Um, yeah, so, to my understanding... We have to, as a community, get a certain amount of kills. Um, which there is a set. There's a lot of quests that you can do it. Uh, all the government quests seem to be um, a part of that. Um, what else? A couple of uh, all the lost quests. <laughs> Endless nightmares. There's actually a lot of. A lot of quests on the list that are being tracked. Um, and of course, free play. So we could just hop on free play and just get a bunch of kills and and uh, yeah, let's just kill some stuff. You know, is it on any difficulty or it has to be all? So to my understanding, the way it works is if you have a character above a certain level, you have to play an ultimate. Because it would it wouldn't make sense, you know. You're you're like if if you're like someone my level 180, right? You have to be an ultimate, right? No. Oh no, not not military strikes back. No, no. That that quest has an an insane amount of <laughs> enemies in it. No, no, it's literally like free mode. Just literally free mode, that's it. Um, hold on, let me fix my thing here. 
Yeah, yeah, you just spam it, yeah. I'm pretty sure there is a list of, of uh <laughs> gallon shop though. <laughs> There's a list of um, t uh, quests, but I shall open a room and we can hang out, chill, play some PSO. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hop on free mode. I have not been on this. I, I've been so, I've been like practicing speedrunning like the past month. And I haven't really been online, so. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, God, is that a God battle? I haven't I haven't played with that in a while. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll work our way up. Start on a. Uh, We'll start on forest. <laughs> yeah, this is my lunch launcher. It's got berserk. Cool, right? So not used to having all these traps. <laughs> also, I think um, challenge mode. So if you're playing challenge mode, you can also the kills you get in challenge mode also count. What, is Berserk reduced? Not on S rank weapons, no. I don't know, it's been a while. It's been a while. Sacrificial reduced? No, I don't think so. What, just having, like, another weapon that has Berserk? Hey, Max! Oh, let me put a... I'll put a pipe down. You know, just uh, hanging out.
A pseudo force joint. I don't have to. <laughs> hey. It's Link! <laughs> Desync shot? Oh, yeah. The reason why we called it... Well, I called it that is because when we were doing challenge mode, right at the end, we, we desynced. And it was a cursed challenge run mode. <laughs> it was cursed, but we still finished it. <laughs> we all desynced online. It was so funny. Yeah, so I figure we just we could just uh, free run, free run. Jeez, I can't even speak. Uh, episode one. No. Kill some stuff. Increase that counter. Also, little by little. F1. <laughs> yeah, uh, assuming my internet doesn't go down at any point. <laughs> it's not even my internet, though. I don't know what it was. I, I enabled another... Um, setting. Hopefully that helps. I got mail. Uh, oh my god, look look how long I've, it's been since I've been online. I can't even, I don't even remember how to check my damn mail. Oh, yeah, yeah we filled, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up? Sorry, yeah, we filled up, my bad. <laughs> I'm just now logging in, I was like, oh. <laughs> Up right away. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully this time I'll actually be able to play for more than ten minutes. I guess I'll just make my own room. And hang uh, out there. Max said you could take a spot after Forest too, and we're about we're just about finished. Uh, I'll bring my force, why not? Yep. Oh. He's been a bit weakened, seeing as I deleted that duplicate red ring. He deleted but a red ring? still good. You know how I, uh, deleted the red ring that I got? Because I wanted to, uh, finally find it myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we'll find it today. I'm not gonna worry about it today. Because, uh... I don't think there's really much... 
besides maybe, you know, free run falls. Yeah. So I'm not going to worry about it for a little while. I have, I have a feeling near the end of all this, all these quests, we might get some of the rarer ones. Like, might get some of the more enemy-dense quests. Mm -hmm. Take over? Wait, you, I think he's leaving now. Oh, okay. Yeah, he left. You can join. Okay, thank you, Max. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did like I did the, some of the tests yesterday. I really like how uh, Kayak changed it to where you get the uh, tokens from the end of the quest. Like instead of getting them all at the very end of doing all the quests, you instead get uh, two. T you instead get two tokens. Oh, you talking about the the tests, so, right? Yeah. Instead of getting them. Uh, Instead of getting, getting all eight tokens at the end, you get two tokens each stage. It's like not that big of a change, but it is like huge to me because it basically lets people be a bit more flexible in how often they run it. Going the long way for some reason. Oh yeah, PK for my for Christmas, my brother bought a uh, Valve Index. A what? Which is a a Valve Index. It's a VR headset made by Valve. <laughs> and I ended up getting his, uh... Uh, Vive headset. What are you gonna do with that? Uh, try just, to use it? Like, no, no, like, what game are you interested in? I mean, I've play, I played on that headset quite a bit. First off, I need to buy some replacement parts, because it is really old. And, uh, like, the rubber, the, uh, foam face cushion is busted. Like, it's basically deteriorated to the point of falling apart. The, uh, head strap has fallen apart. Hmm. But I've already bought face replacement parts for that. I even bought one for the, uh, uh replacement head strap that has headphones. Because it was half off on Amazon. But uh, a couple games I want to play, uh, one of the big ones I want to play is a Dual Monsters VR. Dual? I've never heard of that. <laughs> it's it's Yu-Gi-Oh! VR. Oh, Dual Monsters. Oh, duh. Yeah, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! VR, and it was super fun last time I played it, which was like four years ago. Is that and the I one where up, um, oh. the guy was like... I draw pot of greed. I draw a pot of greed. Yeah. I'm supposed to draw three cards from my deck. And then I summon pot of greed. So it allows me to draw three cards from my deck. Yeah, that video. Yeah, okay. Alright. <laughs> it's like you can do, you can still do stupid stuff like that, but if you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, all players just got to, you know, stick by the rules. <laughs> and so it's like actually proper. And it was a lot of fun. And the dual disc setup is actually very intuitive. <laughs> like it's actually surprising like, how intuitive <laughs> the duel this can be. Hey, oh, we got a rare one. Got a rare. Unfortunately, it's purple num. <laughs> I mean, that was actually pretty decent forty native. But uh, the other ones I want to play, of course, Beat Saber. That one's a big one. Uh, I want to play Pavlov again, but I heard in recent times that game's sort of lost 
player base, which kind of stinks. Pavlov was uh, the was basically Counter Strike on the in that on VR. It was really good. I had a lot of fun playing it. I don't know. I don't know if I'd be able to play VR like that, man. I tried and like headache city for me. Yeah, it's, it gave me really bad headaches. I couldn't do it. Yeah, I don't know. I've, been, I've just, like, never had really any issues with it. Like, I only have issues when it's, like, really bad desync and low frame rate. Which, unfortunately, with my computer, that's kind of the case I'm in. It's like, I tried setting it up, but uh, uh, the index controllers that my brother, brother bought for his headset, before he bought a whole new set, for VR, he got the controllers for the index separately, but uh, those I couldn't get working for some reason on my computer. How, how are you? It, it, how long have you had the computer so far? Uh, since my dad passed away. Hmm. So for a couple of years now, I have since upgraded it to play PSO New Genesis, but I have not upgraded the graphics card, so I'm thinking that might be an issue because when I was trying to load VR stuff, I had a lot of times where stuff would just go out of sync constantly. Where it's like, oh, it's like my vision would just suddenly, it would just act like I'm moving straight and going through walls and stuff. Or like my controllers would just fly away from me. And I've experienced that before, but never to the point where it's unplayable, so I'm wondering what was up with that. If it's my graphics card, well that's another expensive guy to do, but... It's it's been long overdue since I've upgraded my graphics card. Like, you you could get a pretty decent like, graphics card for a good price. Yeah, nowadays. Yeah. When I was upgrading the computer, that was definitely not the case. But nowadays, it is a lot more possible, so it might be worthwhile. I'll probably just look for something that's like... Decent, but not super powerful, and get something for a decent price. I'm not looking to like go high-end. Upgrading your RAM, Arliss. How much RAM do you have, Arliss? I got 16 gigs in mine. 16? I don't really need that much RAM. Maybe I'll upgrade sometime in the future because I think I can get up to like 32 on my motherboard. But I think 32 is a, a good, 32 is a good sweet spot to play. Yeah. Um, you know, have a good time. Good experience in these games nowadays. The 16 is pretty good. So yeah, far, I, don't, I don't really play a lot I of modern eight, games. You have 8 gigs of RAM? Yeah, that's a bit more rough nowadays. That's yeah. what I had before I upgraded my computer. Thankfully, my graphics card is still going strong, and like the games I play on it, I have no issues. But if I get an upgrade one, that's going to be kind of nice. Although, the only reason I'd be upgrading at this point is for VR, because my Steam Deck has basically taken over my PC gaming. Aiming to get two sticks of 16. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. With 8 gigs of RAM, I can barely play modded Minecraft. Yeah, games nowadays, they just require even... too much. I don't even own Minecraft. Like, that's, that's partly the reason why, uh, when I posted the top 25 games that made me who I am, uh, I chose Terraria instead of Minecraft, because even though I played a lot of Minecraft when I was younger, I never owned it, but I owned Terraria, and that's why I ended up playing a lot with my brother. And had a lot of fun with that game. Though now when I try to go back to Terraria, it's like, what is all of this content? What am I doing anymore? <laughs> what is this? There's too much. I don't like it. So I just download like a 1.1 client and play that. Imagine that's playing a, Minecraft. Right <laughs> I would never. <laughs> it's one of those games where it's like, I loved it as a kid, but I have no time to play it anymore. 
What, Terraria or Minecraft? And I was never a creative person, so I never got super far on Minecraft. Minecraft? Yeah. I think that was a super chill game. This is, is this a chill, a chill game now? When I was younger, I would I had a lot of fun with it. Now, if I were to personally go into Minecraft right now, I would probably just, I don't know, just make pixel art or something. So, something super chill. Yeah. I did play... Well, I did technically own Minecraft, except it was on the uh, Xbox 360. Uh, that was pretty fun. I liked it because it had split screen. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Snow Bison! <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> Hey, yo. He's like, oh, I'm on Minecraft right now. <laughs> Thanks. He's like, no cap. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I don't judge. I got, I got sabers too. You do what I'll you, honest, you do Sashi. what you want to do. What happened? I still think Masashi. I still think Masashi is one of my favorite weapons in this game. I need that frying pan again. Oh yeah, I, I need that frying pan actually. <laughs> Eh, not in the mood for this song. Hey! Minecraft. I gotta try Pixelmon too. That Minecraft Pokemon stuff. That sounds, that sounds really fun. Who knows, maybe one day I'll actually buy Minecraft just to say I own it again. Also, you know what's funny? What? You know how people call- you know how a lot of people, or at least, you know, Epic Games is calling Steam a monopoly? Steam? Yeah, Epic Games is trying to, uh, not really calling Steam a monopoly, but trying to push that they're trying to have a monopoly but you really think about it steam is very like not doing that it's just a storm uh, a storefront it's it doesn't have exclu I, I mean I, at least to my knowledge i don't think it has exclusive stuff well, only valve games are really exclusive yeah so it's it just yeah like it's valve other platforms but like the big the big thing that people have pointed out is that everybody puts their games on Steam because that's what everybody goes to. And when they don't put it on Steam, sometimes it's still super successful. Like Fortnite isn't on Steam. Minecraft isn't on Steam. And yet people still love it. It's when you have launchers like the Epic Game Store or, you know, the launcher of all the different companies that it becomes frustrating because they're very anti consumer. Yeah. And like have huge DRM issues, like stop selling their games half the time. That's that happens on Steam. Too, Bedrock or Java? What I don't I don't know which one's better, honestly. I know there's different versions well, of Minecraft. Java's the older. Java's like the older version. Bedrock was when I think they moved to a new engine. But isn't there like a version where people they use that version for uh, for mods and stuff? Yeah. Like it's preferred. I think Java might be easier to mod, so that's where a lot of the mods go for. But I'm not really sure. I've never used. And I never actually did Minecraft modding. Like I think I got it working once as a kid, but then. I think I'm more interested in the the servers, the different servers you can play on, rather than modding it. 
Oh, actually, that's one reason I should get Minecraft. There was a VR mod. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun, actually. That mod was actually a lot of fun. You could even connect to online servers with it, and like the game would just act like they're a regular player, but you can like move around in VR. So I played. Hey. Oh, a silence claw. Enjoy the silence claw. I'm good. I got 50 hit one. But, like there was a server I went on that had a mini game called Block Party, where it's like. Sort of like musical chairs, but with, uh, blocks. Like, the game would give you a color of block on the floor, and you'd have to go to that color, and, and then all the all the other colors would disappear after a certain amount of time. And it was a lot of fun doing that in VR, like, it was actually really cool. Oh, Yeah, that, that's one reason I should buy Minecraft, so I can play it in VR. Not a bad idea. Hey, Panda, what's up? Only thing I'm sad about is that the Steam Deck will not support VR anything, basically. Just got home from watching Wishes? What's that? Is that a movie? Wish? That's, Wishes? The, that's the latest Disney movie, I think. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I kind of gave up on Disney movies. <laughs> um, I mean, what was it good? I've heard a lot of people say it's not very, it's not very good. Oh, well, yeah. oh. First, I've heard it's like actually nearly bombed at the box office so far. Oh, she liked it. That's good, I guess. I teared up. Isn't that what they try to do, the Disney movies? They try to do like some emotional stuff for you? <laughs> Looks like they were successful. Hola, Pique, como... <laughs> ¿Comiste pizza hoy? No, I have not eaten pizza, no. <laughs> Where's the pineapple, man? Oh, no. <laughs> not pineapple, please. <laughs> Big sad, yeah. See, now, now I actually need to start looking for a higher hit, uh, AoE weapon. Gotta get that S rank slicer. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. Could do that. Throw some demons on that bad boy. Ooh. I actually should do that. That's what I'm working towards. Actually, no, I have. I, I have it already. I just need. I just need a full my full moral to be a higher level, because her ATP is really low. Yeah, that will happen. My full moral's <laughs> ATP is maxed at like level 120. Jeez. It's really not that hard. Like, she's one of the lowest characters to get, like, max damage on. I think I maxed her out at level 63. Oh god, not the not the Kiwi Pizza, please. That sounds nasty. <laughs> See, I like pineapple on pizza, and even that sounds disgusting. I do not like pineapple on pizza. Ugh. What? I 
Hey, did you hear Peter Griffin and Solid Snake got into Fortnite? What? <laughs> yeah, in the same update. What? That's so random. <laughs> That's what Fortnite does. <laughs> it's such a random game. Peter Griffin and Fortnite? That is insane. Actually insane. Just like that time I went tilted with Solid Snake and Fortnite. Lord. And, and the funny part is that he doesn't. He. The funny part is that they didn't just put in Peter Griffin into Fortnite. They put in buff Peter Griffin. <laughs> like he is. He is like genuinely buff. It's hilarious. Uh, when he had all that plastic surgery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's nice to sit back and play this game so casually after learning the speedrun for for a month. It's really See, it's... that's why I don't that's why I don't like speedrunning. <laughs> it's so I'm nice. Not, I'm not a speedrunning guy. Like I was like uh the Mega Man Zero and ZX Legacy Collection. There's uh to get all the achievements, one of the achievements is to uh complete the Z Chaser minigame, which is uh Speedrunning, basically. Speedrunning specific stages. And, uh, I hate it. <laughs> like, I do not like rushing things and trying to go fast. Yeah, it's really fun, though. I've, I've been having a lot of fun with, uh, like, the speedrun. I, I imagine it's fun, but it's something I just don't like doing. Yeah. But, uh, it's, it's fun. I'm it's a like... fan of, uh... Like... Oh no! No! I don't mind it, but it's just the kind of thing where it's like, I hate it because in order, in order to finish the achievements, you have to get an S rank on every single one of the stages. Which, that's not the highest rank, but it's still pretty tight. And uh, then, you, then that unlocks a bonus stage, and you need to complete that bonus stage to uh, get the achievements. And like I, I've done two stages out of like the twelve so far, and I just, I just can't, I just don't like it. It's like <laughs> you screw up once, and it's like, well, time to restart. Caves <laughs> three. All right. And then the other achievement that I'm missing in that collection is uh, defeat this bonus boss up near the end of Zero Three. The problem is, uh, when I beat Zero Three, I saved over my save file, which starts basically New Game Plus. And, uh... And there's like a checkpoint that I could load, that's right before the final boss. But, uh, that checkpoint, I can't leave that stage without dying, and if I die, I have to reload my save, which reloads basically from the beginning. So, to get that achievement, I basically have to beat the game again. <laughs> I mean, it's not a long game, it only took me two hours to finish it, but it's like, oh. It's a bit annoying, uh, yes. I'm actually really close to leveling up on this character. Huh. Oh, nice. What level? What I am, uh, 232,000. That's actually doable today. I'm 150k today. Pineapple slicer. <laughs> the pizza cutter. Oh no. Oh my god, this is a speedrun map. 
I just I recognize it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! So the next uh, streams that I'm gonna be doing is Ocarina of Time. And I was gonna stream it on the PC, on my Steam Deck. Is this your first playthrough? Yeah, like the PC port. Uh, I've played it before, but I only ever got as far as the Forest Temple before I stopped. Uh, Ocarina of Time. Such a good Zelda game, man. Yeah, I, I, I used to not think it was super good, but you know how that goes. I'm, I'm, I do like it. Ooh, it's just the kind of thing where it's arms. like I never grew up with it, so... <laughs> Yeah, the pan arms. Surprise! But I'm looking forward to playing it. The only issue is that I don't have a very good, like, option for capturing N64 footage. So I'm just gonna have to hope for the best. Yeah, I, I know N64 is pretty hard to capture. N64 is probably one of the hardest, like, I just, to you know me. Before. You know me, I just emulator it up. I would, but I'm not a fan of N64 emulation. Never really have. Like, I liked it when I was a kid, but nowadays I'm like, there's so many issues with it, it's so hard to get going with, like, how you want it to, that I'm not a fan of it anymore. Pretty much the main reason I bought Never Drive. <laughs> the boss is up here. This is boss. Boss room? Come, Come friends. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna be playing it with the. Uh... Yeah, this is a really, really short map. Um, I'm at 93. I'm at 93. 93. Who else? Anybody else has a uh, max? No. Um, Metal Gear is at 97, he said. Alright, oh, we can enter, we can enter mines and just wreck. Yeah. Hey, look what I have. I think my favorite boss of PSO right now is this guy. And I don't mean specifically this version. Uh, I forget, have you done the tests before? Have you ever finished them? No, I haven't finished them, no. I should do that sometime. They actually count towards the total, so maybe we can work on that later since uh, I didn't get... I didn't finish the last one. I've never killed the boss in that position, though. That's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, uh, PB. I'll donate. Oh, he just left. Oh. No PB for you, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Go. I'll just. Go ahead. Go. Donate. It'll still be a, still be a good one. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh! oh no! <laughs> After Ocarina of Time. I'm either going to do start Majora's Mask, or I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on to playing Mario games on stream. Ooh, Mario. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sort of going to toss back and forth between Mario and Zelda. Uh, what Mario games are you uh, looking forward to? 
Uh, uh, well, I'm gonna start from the beginning, so I'm gonna start with Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Oh, you, Mario Bros. <laughs> the beginning, the beginning, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I started the Zelda Marathon with Zelda 1, and I'm gonna be honest, that game was awesome. Oh, man. Hey, what was that, presents? Yeah, it's a weapon. Vulcans, 30... No hit, but, like, 30 dark... Yeah, like, Zelda 1, I loved that game, actually. It was really good. Like, I didn't even play with the guide, and I had a blast. I gotta, you know, this one Zelda game I've, I have not played to its fullest is, um, Link to the Past. And I, I have to get around that. I have to get around doing that. Link to the Past is pretty good. Like, I'd say I rank it higher than, uh... <clears throat> I actually do rank it higher than Zelda 1, but, like, I don't know, I, I didn't like it as much in the end. Like, I didn't find it as fun. Really? It was because, I was, maybe it's because, when I was playing Zelda 1, Phoenix Mons was sort of, like, leading me down the right path occasionally, and I was, like, writing down notes, and I had a lot of fun doing that. I think that past, I didn't really focus on that, I kind of just looked up stuff. If I got lost. I mean, Link to the Past is still good. I just, like, didn't think it was the best Zelda game so far. I think that was Link's Awakening. I gotta... I, I wanna at least try it, you know? I, I mean, you'll probably enjoy it. It's still a really good game. Uh, I played the, uh... And after you finish it, you can play Ancient Stone Tablets, that, uh, voice-acted sequel sort of thing. I haven't basically played any Zelda game. I think Zelda games are just just very, very good games that you can just sit down and have a good time in general. You you can literally pick any any one of them. I think you'll have a good time with them. Except CDI games. Well, the CDI, <laughs> we don't count those. <laughs> I mean, I did. I did play the uh, PC remasters. <laughs> and I will be honest, those were actually pretty good. Because they were pretty short and simple. I don't know, I, I had fun with the, laughing at the cutscenes and just playing the game. They were like only an hour and a half long. You've yet to complete a Zelda game. I mean, the only Zelda game I beat at that point was A Link Between Worlds and Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Now I've beaten, like, now I've beaten everything before Ocarina of Time, so. Breath of the Wild, I don't like that much anymore. So, like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna revisit it during this marathon sort of thing. Mainly because you know, Tears of the Kingdom exists. I mean, the problem with uh, those games, like, they are just long. Like, if you if, once you get engulfed in the world, they're, they're long. I know you can beat them really fast. But for me, for me, it was just I, I like Breath of the Wild, but after a while, I was just kind of like this. this I'm just kind of doing the same thing. I'm getting kind of bored. I know. I, th I thought Tears like of the Kingdom more... was insanely good. I just like the puzzles. I've heard Tears <laughs> of the Kingdom, but everything that I have heard has basically been it's Tears of the it's Breath of the Wild with a lot more stuff. I'm like, all right, look, that here, fix my here's the thing Breath about of the Tears of the Kingdom, okay? Yes. It is, to an extent, you know, Breath of the Wild Plus, but once you unlock the ability to actually, once you unlock the ability to actually, like, make aircrafts and stuff like that, it becomes insanely good. It becomes Gmod. It, it like, you could just make... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, you could just make aircrafts and stuff. Ooh. Oh yeah, uh, my brother's talking about this. Did you hear uh, PlayStation Network is going to be removing purchased videos from your account? Wait, why? Because 
like of like the Mythbusters. If you bought Mythbusters on uh, PlayStation, then uh, you won't be able to watch it anymore. Don't you just love the digital future, PK? Yeah, digital's amazing. Yeah. Why well, I bought Mario RPG physically, that game was amazing. <laughs> well, once the like, PlayStation Store remake, goes down... Well, not even when it goes down, they're just removing it from their servers and you're no longer going to be able to watch it. It's just something they're doing right now, so it's just kind of like, well... Oh god. These guys are annoying. They <laughs> Oh god, what about <laughs> what's that what's that image, dude? <laughs> what am I about to see? What am I about to see, man? Did you see? Did you see the mod of Super Mario 64? But Mario has a shotgun. Oh yes, I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. That, I actually prefer that mod over the original game, just because you get just because the gun can act as a <laughs> double jump. Your stream is delayed. It's safe for work? Uh, I friggin' hope so. <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> Let me see. Why the hell would I spend 10 minutes walking to Iron Castle when I can build the most garbage? <laughs> no, that's literally that that is literally Tears of the Tears of the Kingdom. You make a you you make a, a aircraft and you do whatever you want. What the heck? How did, you, how did he die? How the hell did he die? further that triggered all the all the traps all oh, your fault oh okay. <laughs> wow you're pretty smart <laughs> I 
How's how's World of Warcraft treating you? How's World of Warcraft? Um, I've been having a lot of fun actually. There is a new mode called Season of Discovery, and it's basically classic World of Warcraft with like a twist. They add, uh, give you like different abilities, new abilities. Um, I'm trying to find an ability that will allow me to tank as a warlock, but nobody found it yet. At this time, nobody found it. Once I get that ability, then I'll be a tank warlock. Sounds fun. Yeah, you basically turn into a giant demon, and you just wreck stuff. Oh yeah. Well, fun, fun thing. Uh, Dragon Quest Ten has a new class coming out. Let's turn into a dragon. You said Dragon Quest Ten. Yeah, it's getting it's getting the class where you get to turn into a dragon. Ah. It's called the Dragon Mage. The Dragon Mage. Uh, all it, yeah, because it's also you know a magic user. Ah, uh, there's no magic user in that game. No, there's 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 a few oh, magic. Oh, I thought I thought you like, said there were no no magic users. I was like, no, in Dragon Quest? no, this was just another, this was just another one. Uh, the main ones, you know, you got your mage, you got mage and priest. Uh, mage is like super strong DPS magic class, but uh, it does it takes a while to set up. Like all your like you have like five or six different like skills to activate. And then uh, you know, priest's your main healer. It's, it's like very basic, but it does the best thing out of all the group. They also got Sage, which is a combination of Mage, Mage, and Priest, sort of. A Sage. <laughs> they got like, they got like other classes that can have magic, like Paladin has like a heal, like a pretty decent heal magic, which heals over time, and then a buff skill to buff a party members. The Paladin. Paladin is what I play, and uh, Paladin is hilarious just because it went from like pretty niche class overall. Because like that game doesn't have regular tanking, uh, enemies can just sort of target whoever. Sometimes they can get angry at one specific character and just target them for a little bit. And like, there's no real skill to aggro. Dude, it's, so it's just... it sounds just it sounds so like World of Warcraft. <laughs> Paladins and, and World of Warcraft can do everything. They can do DPS, they can do healing, they can tank. But see, see, that's what Paladin can do now, because uh, after they updated Paladin, they updated their spear skill tree, Paladin suddenly suddenly became one of the top DPS in the game. It was like Paladin, before, didn't really have good damage options, but then it got two upgrades to their skills. The first was uh, a skill that gives you a damage buff depending on how high your defense is. So like the more defense you have, the higher the damage buff will be, so that's a really good like way to build your characters and just push your defense. And then uh, the other one was a buff to a skill called multi thrust, you know, multiple stabs with the spear. Uh, they changed it from a cooldown ability to zero cooldown. Uh, that's one way to make something broken. So like just... <laughs> just yeah, the I know. On. It just removed the cooldown. So you can just spam the move, and it like does like with an attack buff on me from an NPC, and then like a damage debuff on the enemy. I do like thirteen hundred damage each stab. And Lousy. like compare that to the compare that to the other DPS that I usually have in my party who does about six to seven hundred damage per swing. But he does it like seven times in a row. <laughs> but and he also has like a bunch of other attack skills. I only have like one other, which is like an AoE light attack that's on a cooldown, and then there's a lightning spear thrust that's on a cooldown. Then, like one attack that debuffs the enemy, and then uh, 
slightly stronger five multi thrust cooldown, but it's not that good because I don't have a skill that buffs the damage for it yet. The paladin. But hey, maybe you should try Dragon Quest kind of thing. Oh God, not another MMO right now, please. <laughs> I mean, it's not really it's not really that difficult to play. Like, it's really chill now that I think about it. Wait. Where are we going? Did we go the wrong way? I think we went the wrong way. Uh, no. Possibly. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I, have, I'll, I have a weird itch to play Castlevania. I don't know why. What Castlevania you thinking? I don't know, man. Just a Sorry, just just a Metroidvania Castlevania game, <laughs> like uh, not 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 like the original ones. I didn't really enjoy the original ones. Um, I like the later ones, well, starting. Or... Yeah. Anything? Any any Castlevania game that has like a level up system? I always enjoyed those. Yeah. Have you played Symphony of the Night yet? Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's one of my favorite games of all time. Symphony of the Night's the GOAT game, dude. I always replay that game whenever I, like, set up to take a Saturn emulation. Dude, you know what I like about Symphony of the Night? Once you get the shield, man... Or once you get the, uh... The shield that... You combine it with the, uh... The thing that makes you OP. I forgot what it was called. It basically told you it basically turns you into like a walking hitbox. <laughs> I always yeah. forget what it's called. No, what? you should uh you know what you know what you should do? What? You should uh set up you should set up Sega Saturn emulation and play the Sega Saturn version of Symphony of the Night. The Sega Saturn version of uh of Symphony of the Night? I've never actually played that version. Is it like that version's got some extra content. I'm at 95. Um, we could do it now. Let's do it now. Oh, no. no, let's do it. At, let's do it after the boss. After? I got, I got 95. Okay, after boss. But uh, the only thing I'll recommend is I can send you a link to a version of it. But Saturn version had a lot of issues. Like, uh, what, what kind of issues? Slow loading. <laughs> uh, they had they had like a weird mapping of the controls. So like to access the map, you have to pause the game and then push a button to open the map. What the heck? A button. Yeah, it was it was really annoying. Like it's still Symphony of Night at the end of the day, but it is an inferior version. Even with like the little extra content, but I mean, if you if you're itching for a Castlevania, it's not a bad option. Dude, he's so much faster. On I I'm so used to. So you see speed running tech. Yeah. How much but, faster. Uh, there's he's... a version. There's a version of the game that uh, has. Like, a hacked version of the game that fixes a lot of the issues. And, like, uses the RAM cartridge of the, uh... Wait, why, why am I not just... Why am I not just doing the thing? Yeah, dude, stunlock that bad boy. There we go. Goodbye, boss. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Got the ruby bullet. Okay, I got, uh... You can't know. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. My bad. 
Okay, you're doing pillow? Yes, sir. Now we are headed to ruins. The ruins. The ru 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 ruins. What were we talking about earlier? I forgot. Symphony of the Night. Castlevania, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, uh. Starburst is pretty interesting. Like, one of the cool additions that it has is when you get to the inverted castle, uh. You you actually pick up running shoes while while running walking over to it, and uh, those let you sprint by double tapping. So it's actually a bit faster than just back dashing everywhere. Faster than shield canceling? Like you know back dashing? Yeah, the you the back dash shield thing. But uh, other than that, have you have you played all the Metroidvanias yet? Like, what what ones have you not played? Which ones? The uh, what for Ca for Castlevania? Yeah, like the Metroidvania ones. Metroidvania, I play I played them all. I think the only one I have not beaten, but I've played is uh, Order of Ecclesia. I have not beaten that one. I've played it, but I haven't beaten it. Maybe you should do that. I have to beat that game. But I played them all, like Fortune of Ruin. Sick game. Yeah, I think Curse what... of Darkness. Curse of Darkness. Is that the meme one on the Xbox? No, that's Lords of Shadow, I think. Oh. Curse, no, no, Curse I, of I haven't played that. Ones. No, I haven't played that one. I haven't played the N64 ones, actually. I don't know how many N64 there were. Ones are... They're, they're two of them, but the second one's basically an enhanced re release. I haven't played uh, that one. My opinion, uh, they are frustrating because <laughs> they have a lot of platforming elements and it's early 3D platforming. Okay. So it can be kind of awkward, but uh, I still honestly like them quite a bit. Like, Legacy of Darkness is really fun. Hmm. It's just got like it's got an atmosphere that is honestly like peak Castlevania to me. It's silly and goofy at times. Like I think the game takes place in like the late 1700s or like early 1800s, something like that. But you can but you literally encounter uh, skeletons on motorcycles with submachine guns as one of the enemies. <laughs> what? Is it's amazing. But, uh, yeah, if you're gonna play any of them, I would recommend playing Legacy of Darkness just because it's the enhanced version of the first game. But, uh, the one thing I will say is that the original Castlevania on 64 has the much better title screen. Because it's, like, genuinely my favorite title screen in the entire franchise. <laughs> the title screen? <laughs> like, no, it's... The reason it's special is that it opens to, like, you know, thunderous... Thunderous sky... Zooming out of the castle, doing a flyby with like an epic song, and then it slows down, and you, you start hearing a violin playing Richter's theme, like really slowly, and it's super, super beautiful sounding because it's an actual violin recording on the N64. And then, uh, and the purse, and like the, it, you have like a boy playing it, he's one of the main characters in the story. N64 Castlevanias are kind of weird because they're stage based, but they still have some remnants of like puzzle solving and story. So it's sort of like a mix between the classic and Metroidvania style. But I, oh, I really yeah, we like We definitely them. don't have to go here. Yeah. They're awkward games, but I, I really like them, so you may, you may want to give them a shot. Or at least, you know, like to Darkness a shot. There's four campaigns. 
like you get uh, you have a uh, Cornell is the main character of the game. He's like a wolf man. <laughs> and then once you beat his campaign, you unlock Henry's campaign, who's a knight with a gun. He's awesome. Wait, we're we missing somebody. And then after you, and then after you beat his campaign, yeah, uh, he's a campaign. A robot campaign. But, uh... It is all good, my friend. The other two, like, main 3D Castlevania games are Lament of Innocence and Curse of Darkness. And, uh, I beat Lament of Innocence. Gotta be honest, that game's not my favorite Castlevania. It's probably my least, one of my least favorites. It's not really a bad one, but it felt really weird because it's, like... Trying to be a Metroidvania a lot more than the N64 games, but it's still kind of stage based. And like, it's sort of like Mega Man, where you sort of like pick the first, pick like the five areas depending on what you decide. Mm -hmm. Because of that, there's no level ups, there's no like, like equipment's kind of scarce. There was like a whole relic system that you could like pick up these relics throughout the stages, and they give you like enhanced abilities and stuff. I literally only ever found one. And it was like, oh, you can set fire to the floor while walking around. <laughs> I'm like, this is this is honestly kind of worthless. We're getting close to 50k. First of all, really? Oh, nice. It's only been two days, no? Yeah, man. Because of the quest we're running, because if we run, if we ran like the test, we would get like 300 kills pretty quickly. Yeah, we've been we just been doing free run. We started in um, yeah. forest. I will say, Curse of Darkness is probably one of my favorite Castlevanias. That game's actually really good. Like, honestly, if you set up PS2 emulation, that game is definitely worth playing. I don't know, man. PS2 emulation. Oh, wow. That sounds kind of sus. I mean, it's it's not that bad of a way to play it, honestly. Like, it's either that or playing the Xbox version, which is what I did. <laughs> which, I mean, you, you technically had HD Xbox capture at one point, but I think it was just not working properly. It was not. My OG Xbox yeah, is... I, 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 Probably out of commission, I'm not entirely sure yet. It's sucky. I've just been messing around with it too much. I like the OG Xbox, but I feel like when it comes to technical issues, anything can really happen to it. It's... OG Xbox is probably the one that has the highest failure right now. It's like, really bad. Like, you you can have a normal day with it, and then all of a sudden you can't even open up your disk drive. <laughs> I mean, I've never been able to open up my disk drive normally on mine. That's why it's been hacked, and I've just playing off my hard drive half the time. But, uh... Like, one of my favorite things about Curse of Darkness is you play as a guy named Hector. Who like was a forge master for Dracula? And now he's a good guy. Like if yeah, you watch yeah. the Netflix show, it's the same character. Yeah, yeah, I love the Netflix. Like, the Netflix show is actually really good. I'm not a fan of the Netflix show. Like, really? I love be honest, it. That show has no story whatsoever. <laughs> what? What? I just love. I love it, man. It's funny because I, I joined the Castlevania. Discord recently, like the big, like the big one, and like everybody in that Discord like likes making fun of that show having no story. <laughs> <laughs> I just love, I love it. Like, I, when I watched the first season, I was like, that, that was all right. It was, it wasn't bad. When I watched the second season, I'm like, ninety percent of the show is just building up for another season. Like, why? Well, that's that's the point, you know. Dracula, you kill him, and then he comes back. He comes back every hundred years. Well, I mean, like, 
don't know. It, I just didn't like that second <laughs> season. Of it. And, like, hearing the stuff about the third season just turned me off from watching the rest of it. I'm like, I don't want Castlevania to be this. I want to slay monsters. I don't want, like, drama. <laughs> I don't want Dracula to be a sympathetic villain, okay? He is literally <laughs> the Lord of Darkness. But yes, he's, he he, his wife he was evil. killed! He yes. has to <laughs> he, <laughs> he, <laughs> Huh? Wait, what? He is still evil. But that's... His wife was teaching him, you know, that humans were good. Yes, and then she died. Yeah. Also, you know what's funny? Castlevania Legends, like, contradicts everything about that series all in one fell swoop. Yo, Big Dangles, what's up, man? How's everything? How's it going? You know, you know, just playing online. I just realized I had invincibility this whole time. I didn't even realize. Ace. Thank you, hamburger. But, uh... I was I was a pretty big fan of Curse of Darkness when I played it. It's got some pretty difficult bosses, too. And, like, uh, you can, like, you can get, like, a bunch of secret weapons, too. Like, you can craft, uh... You can craft an electric guitar or a minigun. Like, they both work as weapons, which is amazing. You can make a guitar. <laughs> yeah, you can make an electric guitar in the uh, 14th century. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Wait, no, I think it was the 15th century. Uh, Thou yeah. shalt learn the power of rock. The funniest part is that somebody did a playthrough of the game where it was literally just the minigun. Like, that's literally all he used. What the hell? But, uh, the funny part is that the guy didn't even figure out the best way to use weapons in that game. Uh, when you use a weapon, you usually get locked in an animation. But if you pause the game, unequip that weapon and unpause, then you get to move, like, freely immediately. <laughs> oh, I hate when you're in the room, but you can't hit anybody. There we go. Whoops. A few options on what Castlevania to play, so have fun with that. Castlevania. If you do play the three Castlevanias, I do recommend playing Lament of Innocence before you play Curse of Darkness, because Curse of Darkness is just way better in all, every regard. And it's gonna ruin. Really maybe, maybe I should just play a modded version. Oh great, I got disconnected. <laughs> oh bro. Well, nice. at least you can rejoin. Yeah. Wait, is my stream still, my stream still on, right? Okay, my stream? Oh, yeah. <laughs> stream still on? Yeah, yeah. Good. Resta in Pioneer. Uh, there is there is a modded version of uh, Curse of Darkness that I've seen, but like I don't know too much about it. I mean, the original game is perfectly fine too. Main main thing with Lament of Innocence is that it's just kind of like Devil May Cry, but like Diet Devil May Cry. <laughs> 
Try it, that will make Ryan sounds funny. Yeah, I know. I might put that. Ooh, you know what? I don't think I've ever streamed all the Devil May Cry games. Ooh. And I've only played part one. I and then, and then I, I was and then I, I moved over. I moved to uh, Devil May Cry two, and then I was just like, "Wow, this game is something." <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Devil May Cry 2 is the mean game. Like, people joke about it being terrible all the time. I got up to Devil the part- Devil May Cry 3 is where the series got really good. <laughs> I got up to the part in Devil May Cry 2 where you have to fight a, helicop a helicopter. And then I died, like, towards the end of the fight and I had to restart the whole thing. And I was just like, oh! This sucks. <laughs> oh wow. Bro. PK, get down here. So you're right here. I'm right here. We can go ahead. We don't need to kill him. The kill counter! <laughs> That's true. Well, we get faster kills if we don't. <laughs> Go kidding. on ahead. We got these guys. Don't worry. Playing Fantasy Star 3 soon, right? Fantasy Star 3? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I that's that's my next game in the Fantasy Star uh you know lineup. I don't know if it's gonna be my next game. But I'll just say that when you play it, don't be surprised if you don't like it. Like <laughs> really <laughs> It's probably- it's definitely the weakest of the original series. Cause like, to not really spoil it, the game starts off like, really fantasy. Like, there's not really much sci-fi to it at all. And as you go, there's sci-fi elements. Like, uh, the first pan you get is straight up an android. <laughs> but like, despite that, I still think it's probably one of the, like, it's got a lot of really cool elements to it, but I will say, do not go for all the endings. It's not worth it. What, like replay the game and get all the endings? Do not, do not spoil what happens. Uh, there will be points in the game where you get a choice between two options, and uh, depending on that option you choose, you will get a different pathway and a different character to start playing. Thank you. As. I got I got the hydrate. Request, can we get a sound clip from Waterboy to play if someone hits the hydrate button? I gotta figure that out. Uh we don't go this way. No, four this oh yeah, four player door, yeah. Wait wait, which sound clip though? Like the uh the part in Waterboy when they like water sucks. It really, really sucks. <laughs> Gatorade does <laughs> Gatorade. <laughs> You're drinking the wrong water. <laughs> Gatorade not only quenches your thirst better, it tastes better too, idiot. <laughs> Oh man, that movie was... I, I... It was such a... I'm pretty sure it's... People would consider it to be a terrible movie, but I loved it. I just love goofy, stupid things like that. <laughs> Prime is better? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 
Prime! Drink Prime! <laughs> I've never actually had a Prime before. And I don't think I'm ever gonna try one. You guys go on ahead. I'll take care of this guy. <laughs> you can do it. How high are you, PK? Huh? What PB? PB, I'm at... I, well, you know, I got disconnected, so I'm at 45. Cool. Oof. Stuck. Oof. The ye old spread needle. Old reliable. Dibs on next round. The room is open if you want to join. We're playing, Enjoy. yeah, we're playing free run, uh, free run, so you can join. Grab a beer, get in here! <laughs> Beep boop. Alright, don't worry, I got you, uh... I got you with the pipe, oh, there we it. go. I got huh? it, I got it! No. <laughs> I got it, don't worry. You took it away from me! <laughs> Sonny! <Sunny! laughs> hello, hello, Sonny. How goes art thou? I don't know, I'm just fucking nonsense. I'm pretty sure what I said wasn't even an actual sentence. Hey, I did it, I did it. It's going well, making dinner. Ooh, oh, dinner. Food always good. Going that way. 
I mean, I guess. Pretty sure this is the wrong way, but... It, I'm pretty sure it is. Huh? Might not be. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever, we're here for the kills. Yeah. Rack up the kills, man. Oh god. Where you at, PK? I am right here. Yeah, I hope I'm not desynced or anything like that. No, I'm saying, what are you at? Oh, I'm at. Oh, I thought you said where. Uh, 86. 86? 87. I Say say your PD so he doesn't activate X or more. Um yeah, I'm playing on my Wii. We're playing we're playing online. Dude, oh. Stop dying. <laughs> that must absurd absurd dominance as humor. Best class in the game. Barely. <laughs> Just let us know when you're at 100 and we can do that. Yeah, Maybe, I know. would. I want to say next room I'll be at 100. Hopefully. Start to think maybe I should stream a different day. Because I'd never get anybody on my streams. What, Monday? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, Monday's a really awkward day, I, I think. Yeah. You either gotta do a weekend or. I should go back to school, like sun, early, late. Like Sunday afternoons. Sunday. Oh, we should right definitely, there. yeah. Oh, Whoops. <laughs> go get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. All right, go ahead. And you got it. Do your thing, man. I could squeeze in through here. Probably not. Nope. <laughs> I am at a hundred. Oh, oh. Oh. Oof. I think I got it in time. You got okay. it. You got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Oh, thank I'm God! Ready, and then immediately... <laughs> thank oh. God I did it <laughs> in the right order. <laughs> also, why we the four way to This dude playing melee rock has beautiful. Dude, the double uh, pillow, four-way PB, that's how you assert dominance.
Oh, I got hiccups now. Yay. Hey, hiccups. We love hiccups. Hey, PK, did you know how to get rid of hiccups? How do you get rid of hiccups? Yeah, you hold your breath while you're doing a handstand. No, the best way to do it is to just say, I'm not a fish. I'm not a fish? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? I don't know, but apparently it just works. <laughs> Ooh, nice. What you do is, um... You know, you know how they used to say in the back in the day, I know how to get rid of hiccups. Hold your breath, you do a handstand, you count to ten. You die. <laughs> well, that's one way to get rid of hiccups. Yeah, see my hiccups. Come on, look at that. Hey, we're almost at the end. We are almost there. Yes! Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, I guess stick bugs. Ooh! I missed. Oh. <laughs> In life, you cannot escape taxes and death, but you can escape hiccups with death. <laughs> yes, yes, that is one way to get rid of hiccups. I'm about to summon these dudes on the side. Where are we doing? It is fall. Wait, I'm about to level up. Well, I think after falls, I will level up. Let me just kill a few more stuff. Just, let's just do falls. I see the dude died again, really. Alright, uh, I am really low on that. Uh, no. Oh no! Wait, let me get a tag. <laughs> How many kills? Uh, stats. Uh, well, the the I got disconnected, so I should probably have uh, about a thousand. Like a thousand. Yeah, I should be at a thousand because I was uh, I was in the earliest, so I should be at a thousand. Everyone else is probably like at like, yeah. I need more around nine hundred something like that. Yes. Force one doesn't really have that many enemies. So there's about a thousand in that game so far. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. I'm just doing my part. <laughs> yeah, I want to say maybe round nine nine hundred to a thousand. I don't know. It's really hard uh, for me to say. Hey, okay, might put down another pipe. Oh, yeah, I got you. Give me a sec. There you go. I am red. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Attracted by the game. Because if you tracked by the player, it would be quadrupled. <laughs> it would go so fast. So like uh, I want to yeah like I, I guess the, the average is when you do a, like a full run from episode like of episode one from forest to ruins. It's like roughly around a thousand.
The, the game has to the the lobby has to be gone completely for its account. I died. Wow. Yeah. Does the kill count reset when you start a quest? Okay. So once the once the lobby. Oh yeah, what if you do free run and then follow it up with a quest? Does that mess up things? Or does does that just add towards the kill counter for the quest? It doesn't mess up, so we, we can do a quest after this and it'll be fine. Oh, it doesn't matter? Okay, cool. Awesome. I wonder if each phase of falls counts as a kill. That'd be funny. <laughs> I wonder if the like little Darvins that float around count as a kill too. That'd be funny. I probably do. <laughs> oh, dude, just sitting there. Epic run. Get wrecked, mate. Oh yeah, PK. Did you see? Did you see? Uh, Wilder Peachy. I heard about that. I thought that was so dumb. <laughs> I know. I thought that was so stupid. Sad part is that the the artist who made her had to private his uh, Instagram and delete the post because he maybe should not have posted that. Yeah, it's so dumb. <laughs> Walla Peach. It's so stupid. <laughs> Okay, get over here. Oh no. Oh no. I'm just uh doing my thing. Well oh, me? I don't die. Hell no. Okay. Not here. Oh my I'm so sorry, bro. Oh you let him, yeah, you let him die. I, I, I was killed gonna the res <laughs> No, the Humar died. Oh no. You murderer. I am a murderer. Oh no. I shall zoom in the hexagon. Yikes. I, I still don't know if anyone else is talking about that. Whoop whoop! One eighty one. I apologize. Okay. I'm so sorry, Robo. No humor is left behind except for that dude. <laughs> I apologize. I'm so sorry. Are you ready for a new adventure? <laughs> we did it. Yay. All right, what quest do we want to do? I'm not sure. <laughs> I have to. Oh, God. Let me let my dog out, because he's uh, being a little antsy, right, buddy? He's being a dog. He's being a dog. Oh, let me see. J -j -j Jasper. Come on, buddy.
Well, we have to pick a, a, a very, like, specific quest, right? Because it's not just any quest that counts towards it. Yeah, like, you just look at the list. It's not that much. Let me, let me pause the music for a sec. Um, let's see. Christmas fiasco. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not even leader. Oh, am I leader? No? I Robo's leader, I think. Um, amazing run from beginning all the way to the end. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, hey, you, hey, you know what? Fiasco. My stream didn't go down. Isn't that great? All right, Christmas fiasco it is. Christmas fiasco, baby. Let's do it. Yeah, your stream's been up. We're gaming. Yep, knock on wood. Hopefully nothing crazy happens, you know? Ah, Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Time for pain. I don't think I've done this. Maybe I have. It's just been a year. <laughs> Isn't that... I thought that mechanic was only a multi-team. What? The Melqueek uh, not being damaged. Unless you do Zonde or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's multi-team only. Oh lord. Don't mind me, just shooting the opposite direction where the enemies are. require SD. No, you don't. <laughs> oh god.
have no idea where they spawned. Oh, okay, they spawned there. Haha. <laughs> Not exactly sure how long this quest is. Oh god. Me neither. G yo, well, that was... it, has four, it has a 30 minute time limit up there. So. Wait. So, the server itself has to get to 60,000 kills? Is that, is, is that, did I read that right? Yeah. It's only been two days on the server, they're already up to 50k? Yeah. That's, that's pretty impressive. Stop berserking. 60k for the first unlock, and, you, and the server as a whole is at 50k? Hey man, it's only, it's only, it's only December 2nd. That's pretty, gaming. that's pretty, that's gaming right there. I mean, there's a reason I'm playing this game again. <laughs> I want to get it up front. And the unlock has not been confirmed yet. It will be confirmed when we actually get there. Drops in HP, let's go. Looking out for PK? Any games I'm looking out for? Uh, any ones or what they uh, I've pretty much played what I wanted to play this year already, except for maybe oh, Baldur's Gate Three. Year? What happened? What's your game of the year then? What's my game of the year? Um. Oh, oh that. It's such a hard choice this year because Tears of the Kingdom is amazing, Mario Wonder is amazing, Spider-Man 2 is amazing. Uh, the other games I haven't really played. Um, I've seen I've seen Baldur's Gate 3 and that looks amazing. Um, I haven't played it though. Um, I would probably. Oof. I'll probably give it to Spider-Man, I don't know. Spider-Man was really good. Mine is Mario RPG. Mario RPG? That's not even nominated! <laughs> Who cares? Come on, we we, we know Mario RPG is a, a, a fantastic, amazing game. Come on. The game made me cry. The game made you cry? I, I played it for the first time last year, the original NES, Super NES version, and then the remake, and then the remake comes out, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> oh, it came out this year. The remake is really, is really good. No, I haven't, I haven't played the, the, the remake. I heard the remake's pretty one to one. It's, like, it's it's got a few additions that make the game easier, and like a couple of post game bosses, like oh, three D Felix, which I beat on my second attempt. Did you ever did you ever get the lazy shell? Yeah, in the original, yeah. Yeah, that was super broken. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's still super broken. It's broken, yeah. It turns. Like, it, uh, that's the one. That's not the one that you attack with. That's the, the armor, right? Yeah, the one you yeah. attack with is super powerful still, but like yeah, the no. armor. Put that on Peach. And yeah, Peach does. Like, Peach just doesn't die at all. I, I did that this playthrough again, and it's like uh, I fought three D Kulex, which is like the, the last bonus boss. And it's like, I only died the first time because I realized that he has a special move that puts everybody at 1 HP. <laughs> Alright, I think 
but then once I realized that, uh, if your party dies, uh, it brings in your reserves. Once I realized that, my strategy was literally just, uh, keep at least one or two people alive, and then once the meteor attack's gonna happen that puts us at 1 HP, I swap out beat to somebody else, let them <laughs> die, and then swap Peach back in, and then she just starts resing people again. <laughs> I just did that for like 61 turns and then I finally beat him. I don't know, I played a lot of good games this year. Um, yeah. Indie games I really were really good this year too. Yo, Hi Fi will rush? I'm surprised that's not being nominated. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I kind of forgot it existed. I really, really enjoyed it. Like, Dude, Hi Fire Rush was. I don't was... know, after it, you know, I was just kind of like. But it was such a good game. That game was awesome. It was really good. It was definitely like one of the sleeper ones that just ran through. I'm surprised that's not being nominated for Game of the Year. The only thing that I wasn't a big fan of was honestly the music. Like, it has some good tracks. To what? Like, the music was not... awesome! <laughs> I have not listened to the soundtrack since I played the game. Except, the music? like, Invaders Must Die, which... Did you ever actually play that scene with Lightning's tracks? No, no, I played with... I played that game with the, um... With the, uh... Unlicensed track. Copyright free, yeah. And I thought they were... Uh, I thought it was pretty... I thought it was so good. The music. Uh, do you know the song Invaders Must Die by the Prodigy? No, yeah, I know those songs, yeah. Yeah, that, that song was in that game during, like, one of the scenes, and it was like, when I got to that scene, I was like, oh, it's this song, because I, like, heard people say it was the best part of the game, and I'm like, yep, nope, <laughs> this is definitely the best part of the game. <laughs> Oh, you know what other game I, I thought of? I just thought of right now. Uh, Pizza Tower. That was another yeah, that was good, one. good one. Yeah, Pizza Tower is great. Ah, hello, Mr. George. How are you? Oh yeah, my Kirby shirt. Kirby, Kirby's the goat, man. He could be Goku. Definitely. So Kirby, Kirby is stronger than Goku. For sure, hundred percent. Hundred percent, like honestly. <laughs> Goku's an idiot. Dude, Peter Griffin could beat Goku. Peter Griffin could beat Goku? <laughs> oh no, that's a good argument. He's I saw I seen him fight that chicken. And that's some pretty superhuman stuff right there, man. He can definitely beat Goku. Because, uh, the Joker <laughs> shot Goku in the head, hit the gritty, and then died. What? What? <laughs> Fortnite moment. Fortnite, man. Dude, no. Oh, I have, I have invincibility, man. They put a freaking invincible in Fortnite, I, I saw. Oh, now I no longer have invincibility, never mind. Hello! Excuse me! 
Oh snap! Oh dear. snap! Oh, dear. oh snap! Oh, dear. Oh, snap. Oh, dear. <laughs> I should have froze. I should have froze. I got cocky. Yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine. I'll get you. <laughs> I got cocky. I should have yeah, just froze. Hundred as well. Oh, he already. Oh, he went to the next area. Uh. Or he just teleported, decided to die. Oh, boo! All right. Stop going forward. <laughs> You're ruining everything. All right. After this room. Taking that power. Back. We can. Oh my God! This. Ah, uh, we were talking about Kirby, and a Kirby song popped up in my stream. <laughs> hey, I really, I really hope, I really want to get Kirby and Forgotten Land. That game is great. That game's amazing. You gotta play that game. Yeah, that that's like one of the Kirby games where I'm like, yeah, no, I I should definitely get this. Now, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Want... <laughs> that game's dope. Yeah, the sweet, the three Switch games I have on my wish list for Christmas are uh, Kirby the Forgotten Land, Xenoblade Definitive Edition, and uh, what was the last one? Skyward Sword HD. No, definitely Kirby and the Forgotten Land for sure, hundred percent. Great game. Yeah, that, that game looks great. If there's one thing about Kirby games, they never feel rushed. Even like the little tiny spin offs, you're just kind of like, yeah, they probably just made it because I was like, yeah, we have the time and effort to do it, we might as well. I mean, you can't really. How do you, how do you mess up the formula? I mean, you know? Kirby game. <laughs> oh, I can't reach that. Dude, 2020, 20, no, 2023 was a good year for gaming. Oh, holy moly, holy moly, guys. I'm dead. <laughs> no! Woo! Woo! Drop that free strap! Drop that free strap! Oh, no, I pressed go back to Pioneer 2 by accident. Oh, no. Whoops. No, 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 no. <laughs> Drop a pipe, drop a pipe, drop a pipe. He's alive, he's alive. Okay. <laughs> oh, that means you're at zero! Oh, well. oh, I can't drop a pipe. Oh, that's it? Pipe block? Oh, no! We gotta go to the next area. I'll probably unlock for you. But that means you have no PV. Yeah. That was my my bad. I was spamming the button. All good. I'll just do the good old walk of shame. Yeah, we literally can't pipe. Yeah, that's all right. I'm I'm on my way. Do we gotta go through caves too? No, it's mines. Oh, uh, you might be able to go back up and we go down to ruins now. We just went there. Oh, oh, you, right oh you guys are in. You guys are woman. Uh, ruins. Okay. Uh, let me there see if I can. Now. You should I think totally we'll wait until you get 10 <laughs> PB and then uh, just activate it. <laughs> oh, I can't go back, dude. You get teleported really? to mine. Yeah, you get teleported to mines too. No, no, no oh port. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I'll just walk. Yeah, yeah, George, it's Christmas. Hey, a Pioneer 2 is in the holiday spirit. I should get red sneakers and white makeup and be a Kirby. <laughs> That's funny. That's a lot of effort. I might as well just make one of those VTuber models. Oh wow, I actually didn't have to walk that far. Sick. Is there still a queue for Classic WoW? No. 
There is not. The server was still packed, though, when I was playing earlier. It was really hard for me to quest. I will say though, the PvP is starting to pick up. I was questing earlier today, and a bunch of Horde just came out of nowhere. And they just started wrecking, dude. They just started fighting, and then like a fight broke out. It was. I think that's one thing I really miss about WoW is just like fight randomly, fights can break out. <laughs> and everybody's just fighting. <laughs> Especially when you're in a PvP for PvP server. Christmas fiasco. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds like hockey. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Ice Hockey MMO? <laughs> yeah, in here. Oh yeah, mine's is pretty, pretty hard. There's a lot of... Oh! What are you doing? <laughs> I, I, I donated. <laughs> Oh, I just got punched. We're fine. Uh, that is very concerning. Oh, you've been playing Newcast, nice. The Chad class. We all love the Chad class. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm Wait, is there a kill count tracker for the event? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Yep, yep, yep. This uh, quest, is, this quest does count towards it. This is gonna add like one tenth of the way. We're gonna do like one tenth of the way to like we're probably all around like fourteen hundred kills now. Shh. 
cheat. Oh lord. Maybe I should have, uh, been deep, Chloe. Take that. I just punched a bringer to death. Nice. Yeah, I can do that too. Individual gotta get. No, no, it's the server. The whole server. A moto ray, what's up, man? Do we find falls in this quest? Not sure. I don't think we do. Woo! Ah, oh, dang. Dear. Yeah, I'm alive. Oh, I'm, I'm a bit Invincible. Oh, yeah. oh Silverant's got an event. What what are they doing this year? They're doing silly stuff. They're doing silly stuff. <laughs> Harvest event, that's what they're calling it. Silly stuff. I sure hope so. Collect pumpkins and stuff. Redeem for grinders, that's it. This quest is really dense with that. <laughs> That's cool, I've never had that before. Yep, the ending. We did it! We did it for the rock. Mission complete. That I was did pretty it. good. I did it for the rock. Right, how many times did I need to die? Psycho one? No, it's not a psycho one. Streets of Rage Four has top tier music, man. I haven't played that game either. It's pretty good. It's very good. Yeah. Ready for this? Ready for this drop? Oh yeah, uh, you know what's funny? <laughs> uh, somebody, somebody, post, somebody posted the picture of the knife guy from Streets of Rage 2, like the red mohawk knife guy. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, he was like, I hate this guy. And then Yuzo Koshiro, the composer, responded, I'm sorry you feel that way about my son. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, well, where the kill counter at, boys? Uh, let me li let's leave this room. Let's tally up our kills. Uh, Got to be like uh, 1,300, 1,400 something. 15. I, I feel like it's more around 15. 
1500. Is it really? Oh yeah, wow. About no, no, wait, because I was I was in the room earlier, so I gotta be like 16, 1600 kills. Not sure. Let's see. That's a fun quest, though. That's got a lot of enemies to it. Nice little chunk. Where is it? I wish... Is there like a live feed on the counter? I don't know. Might take a little bit to update. Oh, that's right, there is a live feed of the counter. It's in the website, I think. Yeah. I gotta go do it. Fifty K. Fifty uh, K? So it's uh, 50,575. Huh. Might take a bit to update because I remember it was saying it was 50k earlier. No, no, it was at, um, it was at 49.3. So it did count. Okay, so yeah. We did push them up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. I might log off. I think I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. It was pretty fun, though. So 50k kills. Not bad. Not bad. That means people were going crazy yesterday. <laughs> People want these rewards. You got the whole month. For, because I think there were like 10 tiers. It's just gonna keep going up from here. We'll see how far we can get. But yeah. Yeah, room's down. Uh, yep, yep. Thanks for playing, man. That was a lot of fun. Um, as Sometimes for me... <laughs> let me go ahead and... Um, let me take a quick break. Um, <laughs> and of course, as I said, sometime this winter, I want you to try to press 10. <laughs> oh god. Um, let me take a quick break. I mean, all you gotta do is try the free trial for like a stream or two, and that's all I care about. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. Yup, yup, man. Have a good day. Yep, see ya. Let me, um... All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to do like a quick five minute break and then we can play some more PSO. I will be right back. 